The Visualization te Therapy with Energy and Process by Vivian Rauber, Swiss psychologist. Lesson 9 of the Self-Healing Course through YouTube, a free one. Here, a demonstration how to work with a problem. Here, shall I operate my tumor, yes or no? I was told yesterday that I have a tumor 13 centimeters big, like that, like a grapefruit, and uh, the gynecologist thinks, of course, that has to go out. And I don't like the idea much. And there is the question for me, is there an alternative way? The gynecologist says, no, it's too big. It's, uh, if it is uh, malign, if it's not good, uh, there is a danger of the colon closing and then you get full of everything and then you have to make an operation. And I said uh, cancer and die without pain I would think is okay but uh, I wouldn't want to have like what she said and she says if I don't operate then I will get into real trouble that don't make me die yet which means suffering so my alternative uh, ways that I have been teaching and doing from the medical side she says it's too late and what is then the purpose of this session now? To feel good about the decision of operating. This operation, according to them, is a, quite a big one. I'll be in hospital for three weeks and out of activity for three months. So the way I could work with it is to feel how I feel about the decision almost taken, but I still don't feel very good about the idea. So how do I feel right now? I feel here a little pain is too much, but it's like a little stitch. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask for higher help, to ask, how strange, I've never asked Archangel Michael, but as you said that before, why not? Okay, he's around anyway, so. <laughs> so I'd like Archangel, Ma Archangel Michael to, to be of any help. So we welcome. Archangel Michael into the session and I'd like him to just feel with me mm -hmm. this feeling in the body of a little discomfort which is not a real pain and let a picture come. <laughs> My mm -hmm. stomach is making noise as if he wanted to say something as well. I can't really hear, but something like stop playing the victim. I kind of keep repeating what you said. Stop playing the victim. Okay. So what 
so, so many people have cancer and they get operated. Some of them get well, some of them get not well. So stop playing the victim. I still have this little thing here. I'm going to ask Michael to help me see a picture. It's a lot of clouds. Mm -hmm. I just saw them in a process lately. Just like a children's Oof. I remember what the process is that I saw. It was a process of how with my grandchildren I was at the Katzensee at this lake and a woman drowned. They took her out, they made everything to make her live, but she died. in the process, how we were all together, the children, the four grandchildren and me, and it was a very deep moment of, of just being together and realizing the deeper things of life. So it's the same clouds again. Would you like to work with this image? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I invite you to place the image of the clouds two to three meters away from your main energetic body, field, energetic field. Okay, can you tell me what is there? Again, noise here and something here. And here there are the clouds. I'm going to pause. Parallel breathing. Parallel breath. So as you pass the parallel breath through this image, you are actually increasing the vibrational rate of the picture, transforming it. Now I see the clouds are starting to rain. Mm. There's rain coming. Shall we work with the five elements now? Mm -hmm. I think I'd like to do it myself. Okay. The one that I will do my thumb. We're trying to do that with lots of love. Now do what you do. <laughs> I hold your thumb with lots of love. And as I do this, you have your image before you. And See, feel how this earth energy goes up into the image. It's starting to fill again with daisies, this baguette, these flowers, these ascension flowers. I'd like to continue with the rain. So we continue with the rain. Index finger, protection. Yeah, I try to put all your protection in the fingers. 
You're helps the mind protect feel, it. feels yeah. secure. Hold it not so tight. You know, I was wondering what happens if you relax it a little bit, the finger. No, I'd like it to like be this? all, no, less, yeah, just that you're round okay. and with lots of retention of protection. Yeah, now I can feel the finger being protected and secure. And I put the rain. <laughs> now there are all these sunflowers also. It's like... Around there is a circle of daisies and in the middle it's lots of sunflowers, this huge one, I love the big brown in the middle and then the yellow and so it's in, yeah. It's like looking like a flower again, a flower out of flowers. Mm. And it's a nice rain, a soft rain, just just nourishes them. Shall we move to the sun? Give me warmth, really warm. I'm giving you warm. Now I can feel it. And I see the sun rays go through this, which really looks like a flower, a flower of flowers. And the sun's shining on the left. making lots of noise on my belly. Can you tell me when the picture changes, the image changes? Just very sunny, the whole thing. Enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Would you like to continue? Or would you yeah, like maybe to try with that? Universal light beams. So, universal light beams energizing beams. Just the same picture. It looks like that's it. Mm -hmm. Like the Oscar Archangel. Archangel Michael says, yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So I'd like to integrate it. I don't really know where to. It came out from the side originally, no? Yeah? Have you a palm? It came out from the side originally. Oh, that's right. And there is now my grandchildren, like in the visualization of the Katsunse of the sleigh, that are standing around holding hands with me. My daughter, my husband. My son. It 
his wife. We're all holding hands around this flower. Flowers mm. of daisies, bakret, ascension flowers, and sun flowers. And I'm just thinking of the moment that Muriel told me about the, when they were all saying goodbye to their cat, to Laska. Can be a goodbye, can be a just accompanying me. Bakret can be the ascension flower. There's something awesome about And stop playing victim. Mm -hmm. I have a what if question for you. Hmm? I have a what if question for you. A what is? What if? What if what? Yeah, even with that interpretation, I guess, no? <laughs> uh, what I feel, mm -hmm. what if the um, ankle and uh, your grandchildren are saying goodbye to the tumor? Yeah. That's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Mm -hmm. Like two days ago, I was swimming in the sea and there were all these big uh, sea flowers. It was, they looked like plastic, but they were shining and I told them, I have decided to live. I didn't know about the tumor then. I have decided to live, to go out and continue my work. Intention is most important. Yeah. Because when I had this accident here, uh, there was a moment where I really had the impression I could have gone. And there I decided to stay, to fix whatever there is to fix with my son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have the impression it's fixed. So now you can concentrate on our work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Because for a moment I was thinking the grandchildren have gone, uh, 
There is nothing really that needs me anymore. Oh, oh, but we do, we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I want to write a book with you. I mean, there's so many projects. <laughs> yeah, why not? Maybe, and why not? And we can continue producing for the yeah. world, you know? And there's a lot to give, and a lot to do, and a lot to celebrate. You would like to receive. And to receive. Give and receive, so there is... After these three visualizations, I was very serene, looking towards the operation with the thinking, thy will will be done. If there are still things for me to do in this life, please let me continue to live. If I've done everything I was supposed to do, let me die without pain and fast, please. The report three weeks later. The operation took five hours. After two hours, the 15 centimeter big tumor was out and my doctor thought it was benign, so she sewed everything together again. And as it's done, they sent the tumor to be analyzed to the central hospital. And after one hour, uh, came the report, it's borderline. This means it's not quite sure whether it's benign or not. So uh, the doctor opened again, took out everything that can be taken out, the ganglions, the other ovary, the... and the operation was finished after five hours. And after a week came the report of the analysis of the tumor that there were little uh, cancerous, a few cell cancerous cells, but only in the tumor, not anything around. So it's good news and I am recovering. I was a bit frustrated that the visualization was not completely correct, but I had foreseen. <clears throat> but actually, on the whole, yes, uh, it's a tumor that could be taken out. Everything that was borderline kind of a little cancerous and on my way of recovery, looking forward to it.